All right, welcome back. Um, this is going to be part two of the horizontal kind of old school traditional design. Um, I've decided to go with bright red for the second color. Just hopefully it's bright enough for y'all to see it. Um, kind of trying to make it bold so it comes out nice on video. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe. Please share the videos. Um, please comment, like, all that stuff. It really helps me to continue making more content. So let's start off. I'm going to fill in this teardrop with the red. Now, uh, when you do these, try not to eat in too much into that other color. Um, you can always go back and touch it up if you need to with the previous color. And if you get these little bubbles, just kind of touch them and they go away. Those happen when you mix the paint up real fast, uh, when you're palleting. And there you go. All right, so now with the second color, what you want to do is um, emphasize the design and add to it. Try not to take away from what you're looking at by adding a bunch of crap. So sometimes less is more. It really depends on you, depends on the situation. Um, it depends on, you know, whether or not it looks cool in the end, honestly. <clears throat> All right, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to draw another one of these that's going to go across here. It's going to follow this one. Just going to run parallel. It's going to stop right there. And I'm going to have them run outward. So let me make sure that's because it kind of got fat at the end of the beginning. So let's make it fat here. Now I'm going to have this kind of go outward, and I'm going to follow the previous uh, line, kind of running through that area and then going outside of it. Kind of elongating what is already there. So this is going to cut through the little opening and then run on the outside of the line. Something like that. Now, now what I'm going to do is turn this into something like this uh, where it's connected into itself. Kind of gives it more, more beef, uh, more legs to stand on. So again, and keep in mind where that is past the line. So I'm going to pass this line, connect it, and go inward. And that's that. Now I am a fan of uh, the teardrop shape. So I see a little space here. I think I'm just going to put a teardrop to follow this part as such. And we're not going to go all the way out. We're just going to stop prior. And again here. Running right through the middle. Stopping right there. Now we're going to connect to this teardrop and we're going to just follow underneath those arms. But this time I'm not going to go thick to thin. I'm just going to do lines and I'm going to do the arrows. So let me start on this side. Uh, forgive me, I have a camera stand in the way. So actually, 
I'm going to go this way. Just for video sake. So keep the line the same. Try to keep the gap the same. And connect it. And the same thing over here. Try real hard to keep the same gap, even though sometimes that is difficult. And we'll go down. Now this one went a little further, so I'm just going to add to this one. Now what I'm going to do is run a parallel line. It's going to connect here. It's going to go down. And we're going to add something kind of in the middle to give it uh, something in this open space. So I'm going to follow it. I'm going to go up and stop at that line. Always utilize your grid if you can. Try to stop at obvious spots. That way you give yourself less to guess about. So you see it stops about the middle of this square. I'm going to make sure it connects about the same spot over here. All right. And now I'm going to take a sip of my beer. In case you're wondering, I'm drinking a Night Swim Porter by the fine people at Copper Tail. Um, it's a Tampa brewing company. It's good. I was not paid to, to show you that. <laughs> So, um, I think we'll follow this downward kind of feel that the green has, or the teal. So let's kind of go downward with it, like such. Make sure that connection looks nice. And same thing over here. Now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go outward like so. And let's see if I can do it without hitting the camera. So, up, down, I'm going to fix this connection. You always want your connections to look nice and uniform. You don't want them to look like they've overpassed each other and such. <clears throat> All right, so this hits up here and it starts to curve downward, almost completely downward. Now, I did go a little high on this one, but it's not that big of a deal. Once you get rid of the grid, um, nobody would notice the difference. All right. So I'm going to start connected and split it off. Go like so. I'm going to aim towards that corner there. Let me fix this connection, which I already did. <clears throat> and 
and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, connecting over here kind of in the corner. All right? And now Kind of gonna do this. It looks sort of like lightning. I'm just gonna let it go. Now I'm gonna leave that open ended because it went from thick to very thin, and to me that looks okay. It's almost like a connected teardrop. And you know, again, this this is all opinionated stuff. Um, it's how I like to do things. So I'm going to connect this, I'm going to go down, do a nice thick line, and let it go to very thin. Now since there isn't much um, orange down here, what I'm going to do is fill in these little gaps with orange. Do a quick light. Same thing over here. Just gonna add a little dot with the brush this time, just kind of a quick like right here to connect that teardrop. And another one down here. And that's it. Put your signature somewhere inconspicuous. We'll put it on this side so y'all can see it. A lot of times I forget to sign it. And I hope you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you would have done something different, whatever, let me know. I'm always trying to learn as well. That was probably a dumb move. <laughs> Share the video.